What's going on guys, Brian is online and in this video I want to show you how to prevent your laptop from overheating and trolling. Right here I have my brand new laptop which is the ASUS ROG Strix G15 with an RTX 3060 under the hood. I absolutely love this thing, but while I was recording my previous video where I tested 10 games, I noticed that it was hot as your future wife. As I remember, it was about 86 degrees on the GPU and around 95 degrees on the CPU. I'm not too concerned about the CPU because the working temperatures of this Ryzen 7 processor and at like 105 degrees Celsius or something like that. But when the GPU went above 85 degrees, I started to experience trolling, frame drops, and that's exactly what I want to show you how to fight with. And there are actually only three things you can do to prevent it from overheating. The first one is to service it regularly and to use a really high quality thermal paste. I'm gonna link a couple of really nice ones in the description box down below. Oh and yeah, forgot to mention, the thermal paste has to be changed every three months. But if you're not an advanced user and you don't really want to open up your laptop and do something with its internals, the easiest thing you can do is to lift your laptop from the surface of the table by a couple of inches. For example, you can use a laptop stand or a cooling pad or if you're very low on budget and you don't really want to invest into it, just get a book or a power bank or something else that's thick enough and put it underneath the back of your laptop. Just right here. You see there are a lot of vents on the bottom of the laptop and that's how it takes the air in. And this exhaust holes right here, right here and right here and right here, that's how it blows it out. And putting something underneath of your laptop actually helps get in more air and helps your laptop to stay chill. And that's actually how I fight with overheating. I guarantee you'll be surprised by how helpful this little power bank trick is. But there is actually a third way to do this undervolt the GPU. In fact, a lot of people are afraid of undervolting the GPU, they think it might hurt the hardware, but actually it's even helpful for your laptop. It might help it live longer and stay more healthy. But guys, the truth to be told, I am not a pro at undervolting and every time I need to undervolt the GPU, I keep getting back to this nice tutorial from TechAliterate, which I found a long time ago on YouTube. It's quick and very easy to understand and I'm pretty sure I couldn't have done a better job at making this tutorial. So I'm just gonna send you to his video so you can do exactly like I do every time. Oh and yeah, it's just a simple tip, but don't ever put your laptop on a bed sheet, on a towel or something else because it would suck in all those hair, dust, breadcrumbs and so on and it would clog the cooling system. Make sure to support this video with a like, follow for more useful tips and see you guys in the next video. Oh and yeah, a full tutorial on how to replace the thermal paste in a laptop is coming soon.